What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and finally the Taiji Jailbreak team has released their long-awaited jailbreak tool. This is a Windows-only tool, and it will allow you to jailbreak untethered iOS 8.3, 8.2, and 8.1.3. Now, I do recommend updating to the latest iOS 8.3 firmware from iTunes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and jailbreak untethered any device running the latest iOS 8.3 firmware. Now, this does not support iOS 9 or 8.4 just yet. Let's see when that happens but for now go ahead and update to 8.3 from itunes if you're not there already and if you're already jailbroken on an older firmware i would absolutely recommend you upgrade to 8.3 it has all the latest fixes and features all right so let's go ahead and get started let's waste no time and jump right in so in settings go ahead and get into passcode and settings make sure to disable touch id or passcode settings if you have any go ahead and go to icloud and sign out of icloud i mean remove find my iphone at least but sign out of this it will interfere with the jailbreak go ahead and put your device into airplane mode and you guys are ready to go ahead and jailbreak now there's a couple things you need to do on your computer and let's go ahead and head over to our windows computer this is windows only for now and let's get started all right so now that we're at our computer we need to go ahead and download taiji and a certain version of itunes all links can be found right here or down below in the description there will be a link so you guys want to actually downgrade itunes to 12.0.1 otherwise a lot of people are experiencing errors with iTunes and it's a very simple thing all you guys have to do is uninstall iTunes and install the version I have linked down below so not a lot of people will have to do that but if you experience any errors during this video you guys will want to downgrade iTunes and I do recommend doing it from the get-go anyways so go ahead and extract this on a Windows computer I'm gonna go ahead and extract it to the desktop okay and here it is so I'm gonna actually bring this to my desktop all right, so make sure your device is plugged in. So I've got this guy ready to go right here. All the settings have been fixed in the settings, which I have done. It's been updated from iTunes. And if you guys actually updated your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch from your settings in here, you guys are gonna wanna restore and restore from backup on iTunes. It will interfere with the jailbreak most likely. I mean, you can take the chances and try this jailbreak. Uh, otherwise, I would recommend you restore and then restore from backup. It will help with the jailbreak. Anyways, so go ahead and right click on Taiji, select run as administrator, select yes, and this is the box that you get. So unfortunately, they didn't wait till 8.4. Uh, I hope Apple does not patch that, but. All right, so once uh, Taiji does recognize your device, go ahead and uncheck this 3K assistant. It's a third party app store. Um, anyways, all we want is Sidium. Go ahead and click start. And guys, can you believe it? This is finally happening. It's been almost half a year and we're finally getting an iOS 8.3, the latest version in jailbreak. So the possibilities with an Apple Watch, I cannot wait to see what we can do. And uh, especially with all the latest features and all that, this is gonna be a great jailbreak, probably one of the best in the history of jailbreaks. Anyways, I'm gonna sit tight here with you guys, watch this uh, jailbreak, my iPhone 5. Uh, you know, make sure everything goes smoothly. So if you guys are wondering about that iTunes thing, iTunes basically needs to be downgraded in some cases. Not everybody needs to do it, but some people will get errors at 20%. It'll just stick here and downgrading iTunes helps. So if iTunes pops up, just uh, close out of that guy. Uh, don't want it bothering anything. And for everybody that's wondering, yes, jailbreaking will actually uh, avoid your warranty while your device is jailbroken. But if Apple can't find out about it, which pretty much means you can restore it easily, then there's no reason why you should not jailbreak. You can always revert back to iOS stock and they will never know that you have been jailbroken. And for people that are worried about battery life, don't be. Jailbreaking can actually improve battery life. There's a lot of tweaks that allow you to get into some of the system resources that even Apple doesn't let you get into. So it can help improve battery life. No, it won't slow it down. Don't install a million things at once. You know, know what you're installing pretty much in the jailbreak scene and pretty much just follow my channel i'm gonna have a ton of tweak videos showing you guys what's good and what's not pretty much everything that you need to know about jailbreaking it's really awesome guys jailbreaking is probably one of the best things you can do to your device to enhance the experience unlike anything android has customization wise it's a lot easier um anyways so we should be finishing up here it's at 90 percent I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get this jailbreak up and running on my device. There we go. We're at 99%.
almost 100 now. And there we go, the jailbreak has succeeded and you get this nice little smiley face. So thank you Taiji for this. Uh, I can't believe they released it now. I really thought they would wait until iOS 8.4. I don't see why they'd release it earlier, but maybe they're confident 8.4 does not patch this. Hopefully Apple doesn't in the final release either. But in a moment here, our device should boot up and will be jailbroken untethered on the latest firmware. Guys, this is incredible. I'm really excited. All right, and my device has just turned on, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. And it looks like some icons have disappeared. Uh, interesting. That's usually fixed with a restart, but anyways, let's jump in here, set up Cydia. So this will take about a few minutes uh, for Cydia to go ahead and set up all of the files. And once this is complete, I'll be right back. All right, so your device will respring. And in a moment here, slide to unlock. And now we should have a working studio. So of course, make sure you're connected to internet. It's gonna to need to set up all of the files, uh, download from all the sources. And we should have a working studio, guys. This is iOS 8.3, you're finally jailbroken. This is it, this is true freedom on an Apple device. Guys, this is incredible. I absolutely hope you take every advantage of this jailbreak, install tweaks, you know, make it your personal device, how Apple hasn't let you do that. So I will have tons of tweak videos up, guys. Hope you enjoy this jailbreak. Um, I know right now there's not going to be a lot of support for applications, but over the next couple of weeks, a lot of developers will be updating their applications supporting iOS 8.3. So don't worry about the fact that some of your favorite tweaks don't work right now. I'll be updating my videos, showing you guys compatible and the best city of tweaks from now on. So stay tuned for all that, guys. Enjoy the jailbreak. Have a great day. Peace.